Hey guys, welcome to Brick Hub. Today I'm going to review the Star Wars Darth Maul from the Clone Wars Hot Toys 1 6 scale figure. This is TMS 024 and it's actually been out for a little while but mine just came in because you know Sideshow is a little bit slower than the international sellers. But anyways, I'm gonna just do a very rudimentary review just like I did with Spider-Man and mostly focus on posing. So first things first, this is a little bit of a different box from the usual Hot Toy Star Wars figures. This one has a slip cover that you can slide off and it has the Mandalorian sarcophagus prison that they used to transport Maul in season seven of the Clone Wars. So as far as accessories go, we have the base and the crotch grabber, which I'm not a super big fan of. I really like the, uh, the flexible flight stands. And then we have the regular red um, ungloved hands, the lightsaber holding hand, a lightsaber, the swoosh effects, the lightsaber blades, the clone arm or like the gauntlet, some black hands and the hood. Um, not too many accessories, but you know, enough to pose around a little bit. We also have this tool here to move around the eyes. So this is the first pose that I've worked out for him. And I gotta be honest, I'm pretty disappointed with his posability. I really wanted his arm to be like coming up and reaching out. This is as high as his arm goes, which if you look at this, I mean, that's, that's not even a full T, which I, I don't understand how they got a character that's so acrobatic to be this way. So that is definitely disappointing, but um, I didn't think the stand would be able to hold him in an action pose, and I stand corrected. I, I think this actually looks okay, with the exception of the arms not being able to come up. As far as the exposed joints go, I'm not super happy about that. Like, I don't like the fact that there's a joint here, 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 and here. That's just too many exposed joints, and that's kind of one of those things that I like about Hot Toys is that those usually don't show, but uh, that is not the case with this figure. So definitely be prepared for that if you plan to display him uh, without his uh, shirt on. So this is my imitation of that first pose he does when he's about to face off Ahsoka in season seven. I did keep the hood on uh, just because, I, I don't know, I, I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. Um, he does achieve this pose very well though, and he's able to stand on his own. The joints in his legs are super strong, um, and that's a pretty nice change. I tried a little bit of the movable eyes, you know, I tried to, to get them to, to look to the side of his head a little bit. I'm not so sure <laughs> if I've achieved the effect I wanted to. It, I don't know, it just looks a little bit off to me. And, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably not going to mess with the movable eyes too much in the future because that was pretty tough. So I thought I was going to have a few more poses left, but honestly, I think this is the one that I'm going to stop at. It, it Honestly, this figure, like it visually, it looks so great, but there are just so many things about it that just make it such a pain in the butt to deal with. The posability is just super disappointing, and I don't know if you guys can see here, but this gauntlet here, because this one's the one that goes over his... Uh, the arm that lights up, it, it splits up and it just will not stay together and it's driving me crazy. It is it is so stupidly annoying. I don't know why they made it that way. Um, I mean, his so th the thing is this, like the lower half of his body, super poseable. I mean, these are probably the most poseable legs that I've dealt with as far as hot toys go. It's just the upper body that's just super disappointing and I just cannot seem to get them, get him in poses uh, that I, I really, really just am falling in love with. So that's really it gonna. Uh, that's really gonna be it for this review. Um, I think after shipping and taxes and everything, I paid a just over three hundred dollars. And honestly, I I would say at that price, it's not. It is not worth it. it. I mean, it's a great representation of the character. But I mean, I mean, even just look at this. Like, he is the magnetic head, and he cannot look higher. Well, I don't know. I guess now now he's working but like it's it's not sitting on that magnet magnetic net really flush and i don't know that like all of it is just just a little bit disappointing to me um yeah i mean but that's that it is what it is what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below be sure to subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and check out our instagram page thanks guys Bye.